You're about to learn how to play Seneca by Novo Amor. Coming to you live, my name is Kyle Scott. What's up, guys? This song, this version I'm about to teach you, sounds exactly like the original version that you hear Novo Amor playing, although I confess I couldn't find a video of him playing it, so this is just me learning it by ear, but like I said, it does sound exactly like the way he does it, and it works pretty well. The two things I need to show you are that we do use an alternate tuning. Novo Amor always uses alternate tuning. He... I. I don't think I found a song that he does in standard tuning. So uh, let me show you what you need to tune to. That'll be D sharp. So this E down to D sharp. G sharp. This one up to a D sharp. Keep this at a G. Raise this up to a C. And raise this down and take this down to a D sharp. So pause the video. Make sure you tune it to that tuning or else this will not this song won't work for you. Okay, the other thing is I want to show you the right hand picking pattern. It's pretty consistent through most of the song and it's much easier to play the song if you can understand what the right hand is doing. It's this picking pattern that goes thumb, thumb on one string, on the bass string, index on a different string, thumb on the next string down, so the next bass note, and then middle finger. So it's kind of like dun 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 dun. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. That's pretty common through most of the song. With the very first chord, it sounds like this. Okay, that happens a lot. So you want to just start to get... If you haven't played something like that before, it can be pretty frustrating to get it down, but just keep working at it. Let's go start, start slow, get comfortable with it slow, and then pick up the speed. Okay, um, I'm just going to play through the song. You can see the tabs on screen. You can pause it. You can slow it down. Use the little settings icon and turn it to like 0.75 or 0.5 speed if it's too fast for you at first. And I uh, look forward to teaching this one to you. Here we go. There's the intro. First two. the bridge So this part was kind of hard to hear. This was the hardest part to hear. But the vocals kind of go like, ah, 
to kind of do a little swell thing before we move into 6-8 time. I heard something like this for just a, a, a bar, or just a bar and a half. It's kind of like... And it goes... And then we do this kind of repeated riff for seven times through the outro. Give it a chance, do that whole part. So the picking pattern is slightly different here. This one's a little harder. And it's also not too important to hit every single one of these notes. At points, you're kind of changing between the chords. But just kind of keep your right hand moving, and it'll sound, it'll sound fine. So you'll notice that in the tab, there's some notes that as I'm transitioning chords, I don't quite hit the notes. I kind of just hit a dead string. And that's fine. That's kind of how he does it. So first time instrumental. <laughs> He starts singing. Give it a chance to break him away. It repeats that seven times in a row, and then the very ending will just be. That's the very end of the song. Hopefully this was helpful for you. It's a little tricky, the picking pattern, if you're not used to it, but stick with it and you can get it. My name's Kyle Scott. Thanks for checking this out. Check out my channel for other videos like this, guitar tutorials, tricks, other music type stuff, and I'll see you on the next video.